Hey guys! Hey guys! It's Nikki and Pierre, and uh, here we are with you guys on Saturday night um, before the video drops tomorrow. We're back and we missed you so much. We actually missed a lot our little get together. Yeah, like yeah. Our, our like conversations, you know? Yes. We haven't done this in a long time. Yes, it's true, and um, and it feels good to be back to it and just you know. Just talk to you guys directly again. And just catch up, you know? It's been a, mm -hmm. it's been a while since we've really caught, catched up. Yeah. You know? Talked about life. And, and uh, everything. Yeah, and everything. We made that poll. That was us, yes. by the way. There's yeah. nobody here with us right now. It's just us. It's just us in our house. Yes. And uh, so, the biggest thing that you guys requested for us to talk about was... Was marriage and kids. Mm. I think the camera's too close, Nick. I don't know what you think. Uh, Maybe a bit. Maybe. Just, Just kidding! <laughs> of course, we, we want to get, get married. <laughs> We're thinking about kids and yeah. all these good things and exciting things. Very exciting. <laughs> We've had yeah. this conversation many times. Yes. And, um, and we, we actually love thinking about it and we love planning it it's and honestly something i feel we both kind of feel right like it's not something we necessarily have to rush mm -hmm. because we've already really committed to each other like well for life you yeah know? it's like i already call nicholas my fiance in front of people i already yeah. consider him almost <laughs> like my husband if you just, ever... just on papers and <laughs> we haven't actually done, done it, it yet yeah. but it's already all oh, like if I got we are like, oh no uh, what is it? Oh no, uh -huh. I'm going blind. Let me blow on it. Oh. Remember that time when my contact got sucked, stuck and you had to suck out the contact from my eye? Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, thank you. Is that what you're going to do on our wedding day? We've, uh... I love you. I love you. Uh, so yeah, what Pierre says is true. Like, if you've ever met us in public and you don't know, necessarily, like, know of us or whatever, Mm -hmm. We I always refer to Pierre as my fiance. Yeah, um, we do all the time. Yeah, we do all the time, even though there was never uh, like a formal engagement. No, in Which, our heart. In our well. hearts, that's yeah. how we feel. Um, who do you think is gonna propose? I don't know how that would work. Uh, I, I don't know how that would I work. Don't know. I don't know if I want one of us to, because I feel like it's such a commitment to each other that like, it's not necessary. I don't know. What do you think? I think it is necessary. I think I would love for this to happen. And, uh, but and I would. I think... But the thing is, it's like, what if I surprised you, but then you surprised me? That's like weird, you know? <laughs> well, then it would be even more funny. But um, I'm just, I'm just excited. I just know, like, the moment is gonna be perfect when it happens, and it's gonna be so the right time and it is the right time already there's no right time we could do it now we could um, do it now yeah it's just for the right place you yeah. see what i mean and uh um, well also we kind of dream big we're big we're yes. big dreamers so mm -hmm. we kind of want our wedding to be big um but th with that being said though like we've had many 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 conversations about just going to the courthouse and just doing it just for the paperwork and like yes. and then feeling committed like, yes. that way but it's we, more for like the party. we might do it we might do yeah. that because we just want to just already have this done so after we just have to celebrate it yeah just so we i feel like more what we're more interested in is just like throwing a party yeah for our family yeah you know no let's talk about how i dream my dream uh wedding yeah and how you dream yours okay and how we plan to combine both sounds good okay yeah what is your dream wedding? no 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 you go first okay <laughs> So mine is, is pretty simple. I always dreamed about a willow tree and a little lake and um That's so cute. You know, I didn't hear this. Yeah, maybe fall or like leaves on the floor oh. and something very romantic and and under the sky and something very close to nature and um something very simple. Europe or the US? Europe. Yes. And and I think this is possible, and I think we can do that. Mm. And um, and how do you imagine? What our... else? What else? What else? Keep, keep, well, mine keep... is very simple. It's just that our family, who, 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 who our, families, yeah, our families, 
yes our very close families and and who whoever wants to be there can actually be there who cares and um yeah i mean everybody that wants to be there can be there and um, my family your family and just you and me um it's like, just like very romantic and very simple and very organic that's what i would what love. are we wearing we're wearing um beautiful tux that can be kind of timeless yeah but in the same time elegant and um and fluid Ooh. and um and just futuristic too but Ooh, at the same fun. time timeless I a bit that. like ethereal so where in, where in europe for you i would see it in france i think yeah yes i would see it in france Maybe for the wedding in France and then the honeymoon in Italy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's where it like gets close to your ideas yeah. that I wouldn't mind if there's a castle behind. Mm, or... Now we're talking the same, <laughs> the same language here. A little or something English beautiful <laughs> to have the reception in. Yeah. That would be very nice. Yeah. Yes. I would also sing lights, lights everywhere, and lots of candles. I yeah. love candles. candles. I would see candles everywhere on the grass, and and lights, a lot of lights. Mm. And I would see it in the evening, not in the daylight. Yeah, I agree. Like yeah. maybe like evening. the 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 ceremony aspect of it, like at sunset. Yeah, sunset. And then the party at evening. Yeah, yes, totally, totally. that's the way. Yeah, so. of course. Like everything looks better at night, right? Mm, everything yes. looks better at night. It's just the shining of the lights, lights the, the shining twinkling, of the candles, yeah. twinklings, the, the stars, the stars. After, and right before the the blue hour is beautiful. The blue no, hour. the blue hour is the morning. No, no, it's the golden hour. Golden hour. Golden it's the hour. golden hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what you got here, Nicholas Trampa? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. To, to <laughs> <laughs> is that a Christmas gift? I would say it was like a gift to myself and a gift from you because so yeah. how we kind of do things is like we don't buy gifts for each other. I feel like we uh I mean we do, but the thing is that we have our Virgos. finances combined. Yeah. So technically we just buy the gift with the money of of our money. Yeah. You know? So it's just this but it's just the intention no but i feel like like this is what i stress about even our like engagement ring like i would want you to pick it out so you love it you know what i mean yes you, yes you i understand it's, yeah it's just but that's how i would expect it to i mean i knew this was a dream you talked to me about for like years i knew that was always a dream of yours but like he oh. i don't want to go too much in detail about it but basically like i had an idea of what the brace that i wanted he showed me another one that was like even more special and I decided to go with that one because... With diamonds. With diamonds, because he... Because you're worth diamonds. Stop, okay. <laughs> so I was... So yes, he... So here, help me pick out this Cartier bracelet. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very, very special for me. Yeah, and I mean, we were there. There was one with diamonds, one without diamonds. You know, if we're here, we already made the whole job. And then your dream is to have one. We're so close. Let's yeah. just let's just get it with the diamonds, you know? <laughs> you're making and me then... uncomfortable. <laughs> and, then, and that will be something you will have forever. And we it's bought it in Paris. And Paris is like my favorite city to be. Yeah. You know, and then especially with you, it's just like magical. So anyways. So yes, we got this beautiful Cartier bracelet. And I'm so grateful for you for it. Mm -hmm. So for Pierre's Christmas gift... um he decided so i was really trying to push him to get this is like so off topic we're totally going off topic right now yeah. <laughs> but so um uh, <clears throat> for pure's christmas gift i was like really trying to push him to buy like a really nice piece of beautiful jewelry that's timeless and whatever and so for pierre though like he really wants to build a music studio in our house in la we're gonna build a, a beautiful music, music studio music. for him and... which will also be and we can tell you guys can we tell them now I don't know if we can tell them. I think we should just hint at it. Yeah. But there's a podcast in the future. Yeah. So just look out for that. Yeah. Um, we're not going to give you details about it, but yeah. So we need a studio. And we yeah. want to, and the reason we bought this house was to be able to do all these things. So <clears throat> we're going to do that. And it, and then Pierre's going to fill it with all of the music stuff that he wants for himself. My brother. And with her, his brother. Yeah. Because also we're really trying to work on 
focusing on what we both individually want in this in, in this life mm-hmm. with what we're building and so music is pure's passion that's his family's passion and that's what he yeah really want and i guess that's just not really great things about me because i want a jewelry but no <laughs> but that's just what it is it, it's dreams happening and um <laughs> I, I welcome and it. i for I the thank studio you. we can do so much also voice uh recording and more work for our videos for you guys and we're gonna be able to do like uh, how do you call that when you record the voice for the voiceover voiceover mm-hmm. we're gonna be able to do voiceover for our youtubes and yes all that kind of stuff and that, that we're very excited about it because there's so many things that we want to do even like uh making like a little like an animated series. animated series of ourselves with our voice and like little stories that could be really fun and anyway we go we're ADHD. That's ADHD, ADHD, ADHD right ADHD, here. Yeah, yeah, ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more now about the way you see um, this happening, the way you dream it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so thank you, my love, for this. It's incredible, and I really appreciate you. And I, uh, you. I, I love you so much. And I can't wait to build this beautiful studio for you. Thank you for that. So you can flourish in your creative endeavors and we can just be the best versions of ourselves. That's the goal. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Hopefully one day. <laughs> Hopefully one day. Yeah. Um, for me, it's very similar. Um, there's like a little bit more of like a glitz that I will add. I would want to add to it in sense of like, okay, I don't know. So, all right. My dream wedding is definitely in Europe. 100% my dream would to be f- to fly all our loved ones out to Europe that can't do it themselves. Okay. Um, definitely somewhere serene and beautiful and very much in line with what you said, like very magical. I, w- I would love a castle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want a castle? Um, a willow tree. A willow tree. I haven't even thought about the willow tree. Like, a lake or a pond. Uh, yeah, I think a lake. Lake. Yeah, like... But where is there a lake in France? Which lake? I, I feel like one of those beautiful fountains. Oh, oh yes, a there... beautiful fountain. Something. Or like some sort of like those large ponds. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Call totally. it a bassin. Yeah. And the uh, bassin. We eat coca shows comme ça. I would love our like some part of our wedding to be in Paris because just like the Eiffel Tower, like twinkling at night with us and like our families around yeah, and like maybe nice. like a reception of some sort to be honest this is like really spilling the tea is that we have met with like a friend who is a wedding planner, planner. and yeah. um so we, we talked we've about had conversations already. about it already that was like a year and a half ago that was a year ago yeah a year, a year ago, ago. Yeah. yeah it was a year ago well we're saving for it yeah <laughs> this is gonna, gonna be an expensive be, wedding it's gonna be a big wedding and so. um uh, so there was a train involved and all these kind of things. But basically, yeah, like a reception in Paris. And then we would go to this like beautiful, magical spot to do these things. Um, I think it's like pretty similar to you. Like, I think there's something really magical yeah. and like fairy tale esque Because that's sometimes how it feels, you know? Mm-hmm. And I also feel like a wedding is a way to escape the reality of a relationship too. In the sense of like... Yeah, just to make it magical. Magical for, for at least piece. one night, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just so it's like all the problems go away. Like all mm-hmm. the money and yes. finances mm-hmm. and struggles and emotions yeah. and trauma and like that kind of stuff. Like yes. you just focus just on love for one mm-hmm. night. And I really feel like why not make it like that? Like there's mm-hmm. no there's no reason not to make it like that, yes, you know? Absolutely. Like who cares, you know? Yeah. If it makes us happy, so. Of course, I know? think it's very important. And like we talked about it in the videos before, you know, like we know it perfect. Yeah. We have our downs, we have our ups, but in the long run, we love each other mm. and that's all that matters. And we're committed we want to each to, other. We're committed yeah. to each other. This is what makes us happy. Yeah. And um, yes, and but the, the, the tough pa- times, sorry, but the tough times actually help us learning so much about each other, helps us getting closer and helps us also understanding our individuality yeah. and how we are different to individuals, very different, yeah. but also that loves each other very, very much. Very so, different, but very similar. But very the, similar, but the thing that gets tr- tricky with that is that sometimes when you find a lot of similarities in a person, you think that you're just like each other. Yes. But sometimes that's actually kind of detrimental to yourself because then well, you we're lose. both Virgos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're it's very similar. It's yeah. not easy. Like, guys, yeah. relationships are not easy, but 
we tend to live in the dream space like we tend to live in the happy place and sometimes that also can be detrimental because then you sometimes avoid things that maybe you need to focus on right yes it's true you know but we do we do our work in the you know behind the scenes behind the scenes and uh we we cannot always share it with you guys because this is you know the inner yeah. work of a relationship is so spontaneous and so that it would be hard to but we planning on talking more about it in well, podcasts with the podcast yes yeah. so but also sometimes the thing and this is what maybe we've seen from social media with others is that not necessarily everything needs to be shared and true yes. not everything needs yeah. to be put out for public opinion mm -hmm. not everything needs to be you gotta keep monetized yeah you gotta you keep know? a little bit yeah. for yourself yeah. because I, I and this is what i was telling you our relationship is so special and yeah. so precious to me and to us and yeah. to you that um Sometimes you have to, you know, keep it a little bit for yourself yeah. to cherish and to have like a little and the sacred garden for your own love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing that gets really, really, really gray and really tricky about putting your relationship out on social media and then on top of it, having like your own individual desires is that <clears throat> money and success and all these things can really, really blind people blind them from what is important and what is really in your bedroom mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like what is like what is your focus what are you putting yourself yes. next to at night and to sleep with like that's truly what's important and there's been moments where we've had to check ourselves you know yeah and yeah, it's, uh, it's normal it's like normal there's um uh, you know it sometimes we because it's so every day that we see each other that we love each other that sometimes we take it for granted mm. which is like yeah. you know and we just don't take a day just for ourselves yeah because we think we have you to know? post about it and because we think we are every day together but we also work together yeah. every day so it, it is very important to take a break sometimes so I'm, sure, be, so. I'm sure you guys have noticed on tiktok we definitely take like maybe close to two months off yeah we took a long time so that's why yeah i was saying it's like we took a lot of time just to enjoy life. our relationship and also to take time and really focus on and reevaluate, you know? Mm -hmm. I think we've been really really reevaluating like what is the true importance mm -hmm. in ourselves and what and what we need, you know. Yes, absolutely. And this kind of uh segues into the really kind of uncomfortable but important conversation about marriage and that we feel like we need to share with you about Did you just <laughs> my hand just farted. Okay. <laughs> Focus. This is a really focus. So, and yes, because for marriage we come from a place where both, both of our, our parents, parents did not, not really succeed. succeed in that. They did not succeed, but I want to cut them some slacks, and I want to say that they really did their best to make it work. If then even if some things didn't work, they really tried their best, and I, I, I need a little bit of. Sympathy. Sympathy. Empathy. Empathy. I have no real example of what a healthy marriage looks like. So for that, it's made me extremely sensitive and fearful and hyper aware of things and fe just fearful. And uh, and made me maybe act out in ways that maybe I shouldn't have to... Uh, avoid this fear right mm -hmm. and so um it's something that we really we take i take personally marriage something very uh seriously and uh so i so we see your comments all the time about like why is there no proposal why is there no marriage well listen guys we talk about this stuff all the time but we are t two people of broken families and we do not want to fuck this up you know and sometime in our trauma marriage kind of translate to failure yes. and we do not want to do that yeah and and to us it's like we have to you know make our own path our own story with marriage and let ourselves get to that step mm. in an organic way and in an authentic way yeah from ourselves without you know feeling pressured feeling pressured or feeling like getting in something that is at the end of the day, scaring us a little bit because of some trauma, trauma in the yeah. past. Oh, you taught me this. Right. And it's like, you really don't know a person 
until like three, yeah. four years. Yeah. And I feel like we're just finally mm-hmm. getting to a place where like we, we really, really starting, know each yeah. other, you mm-hmm. know, and really know ourselves. I don't think we knew ourselves when we got into this relationship. No. And it took some level of strength that I can't necessarily explain <clears throat> and put words to to allow ourselves to evolve together. Mm-hmm. But we're still here. Yeah. And I feel like I'm even more in love with you now than I was before. And that says something to me, and that's really like a go- a golden sign that like marriage is on the marriage is very close. It's close. Yeah. And I can see it too. It's yeah. getting closer. Yeah. It's getting here. And uh, the the thing is that I believe, and we believe, and we've learned a lot about that. That there's different stages of a relationship. in a love relationship. Mm-hmm. There's different stages, and it's normal. And at the beginning, as much as you love each other, and it's a very romantic and passionate stage, and you you only see everything beautiful in the eyes of your lover uh you do not know him yet and you you will get to know him later and so there's different stages because the beginning you're blind and then after you start to really understand and knowing the person and then you're almost blinded about what you don't like you said i mean it goes from like you're blinded about everything that you love and and then then you're blinded by everything you don't like yes that's very true and then it's like but then you have to almost like get through that and then be like, wait, mm-hmm. I still like this person. Yeah, I still love that person. But then what was I thinking to think that anybody's perfect? Yeah, exactly. And what was I thinking to idealize my own love? Yeah, um, before yourself. L- relationship. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I idealize him. I idealize my relationship. I idealize yeah. myself too. Yeah. Because we realize we're really not who we think we yeah, are. No. Once you get with someone. No. Yeah. So it's very funny how... How much you learn about yourself about the other but the beautiful thing is that when you do it with someone it gets you so close and you go through so many things together that it would be really really hard to lose that yeah and really really not worth it to lose that for for little well, things and then the you realize the that the strength of your relationship like you're mm-hmm. like holy shit we've been through this together and we still go to bed Nine. horny <laughs> <laughs> But also, like, you still go to bed, like, 99% of the time, literally, like, obsessed with that person. Yes, of course. You know, it's like, yeah. someday, okay, well, like... Wait, some days there's fights, yeah, there's and fights we're and like, you're like... you're like, I'm sleeping downstairs, And then my you know? butt touches your butt, and we're just... Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then the other good days, we're spooning, and then... Yeah. It's just, wait, it's really true though. Like you could be really pissed off. I could be so fucking pissed off at you. Yeah. And then like our toes touched. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well, it feels good a little feels bit anyway. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> yeah. It's funny. That's real. That's real. Yeah. So um, all these things. So this, yeah. So to go back to marriage. So yes, we've almost gotten married a few times. We've we almost... did. We all. Almost... <laughs> was go- like actually right when tiktok was starting and all these things were starting we actually filed our paperwork at the palm springs yeah um, um mayor mayor uh, mayor mayor marriage house, house. <laughs> yeah, marriage house. <laughs> so when we we actually were going to get married we went to the yes. courthouse and then they were like oh listen covid shut it down like you're so everything's it's, yeah, closed. It's closed sorry you can get married yeah. guys <laughs> It's <clears throat> definitely coming very soon. Mm-hmm. It's a matter of timing and it's a matter of truthfully finances. Like we really would l- not because that's what determines our marriage, but in order for us to feel like we can have the wedding, not necessarily only for ourselves, but for our families that mm-hmm. we really want to share with them. Mm-hmm. We want to make sure we do it right and make sure it's good. So we're just waiting for the time when the right, when the right time. But listen, guys, like we're on that track. So, yes. And, uh, yeah, it's happening and uh, and it, it will happen very soon. And mm-hmm. uh, and then to kind of like segue into a family, that's like another whole conversation. Wow. Children. Very exciting. It's funny because today we got to carry a baby, a baby, yes. a baby of one of our very good friends, Annette. Annette, yes. And she had a beautiful baby girl. Oh my God, Her name is Penelope. So Her nickname is Poppy. And oh. Pierre and I both held this young little beautiful oh. angel. That was so did you nice. cry? Did you cry during No, it? but it was so emotional. Yeah. I just like, it's so teeny and it's just adorable. I have it's to say just, it terrified It's so me, precious. It terrified me. Yeah, it's terrifying because it's like such a, a small, precious yeah. thing right there. Yeah. And it's just, wow. Kids. 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 Man, kids. I'm excited. <sighs> I want to carry them. I don't feel ready for kids yet. Do you? I would say I would need 
a teeny bit more time yeah teeny bit but i'm getting there yeah i think i'm getting there enough to know myself enough the and thing, to... and this is, might sound trivial. I don't mean to interrupt no, you. No, 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 go ahead. I, this sounds might sound kind of materialistic somehow, but I don't want to bring children into this world yet until we have the financial means to for them to never stress. Yeah, Having kids is expensive. And, expensive, and, yeah. and we don't want to be tight. Also, don't it's not even tight. that. It's also time. Like, we're so like involved in ourselves right now. Yeah. It just would not be the right time, mm -hmm. you know? It's true. It's There's still a lot to build. Yeah. Uh, both each other individually and both yeah. for Nikki and Pierre. Yeah. And um, and there's so much it's to do. It's not, yeah. Still. But I do, I do, I, there's, it's so funny. Like, I do sometimes really feel that, like, fever of, like, I, I could be a dad. I could totally be a dad. I could, I think I could be too. Yeah. I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm getting to it's know myself now. enough. It's yeah. not now. And it might not be next year or the year after, but it's definitely, I'm like... It's just I've been learning so much still in this past five years yeah. about life, yeah. about how things work, mm. about myself, about uh, people that I feel like I'm getting there. Maybe I have a bit more to learn. Yeah. I'll learn forever, right? But but right but now, enough, for the know? basics, yeah. yeah, maybe maybe three more years. I would like for them to be born here. I would like to know your opinion on this too. Yes. But I want them to be raised in Europe. I want them I to, would love that. I want them to be raised bilingual. Yeah. I want them to be learn French There's English. There's very good bilingual school in Paris yeah. and, and things like and that. And I want to, you know, it's like almost that thing where it's like you want to give your kid everything that you didn't have the opportunity to do so. Yeah. And like right now I'm like learning my French, but it's like hard. And mm -hmm. I just know that if like we teach them at a young yeah. age. It's Can we be, be honest for one second? No, 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 no. I don't even want to fucking hear what you're going to uh, say. No, 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 Just America oh. is a tough place to grow up in. I thought you were going to be like, your French is so good. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Oh, your French no, is so stop. good. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have my, literally, I have my tutor tomorrow, like, after this video premieres. Oh, good job, me. You're doing yes. incredible. No, Sorry. but it is very true. And, yeah, I, and I think I can speak more on this because yeah, I grew I, up I in it. I know that from you. The U.S. is so competitive. It's so competitive. It's so hard to grow up in this. It's like, it's just difficult. And like, I'm sure all of you guys who are growing up in the United States can contest to this. It's just, it's, maybe I say toxic. I don't know. It's hard. Maybe you said yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> and see the world, see the world. Yeah. Like already being bilingual, mm -hmm. maybe probably speak Spanish as well, because Spain is right next to it. You're mm -hmm. in Europe, maybe talk Italian, Italian as well. Yeah. Um, just like that culture to, to see past, um, the frontiers and just like travel meet other cultures it yeah. is so important. so important it's so important. and we both learned it we've learned that and especially together especially together the yeah. amount because the amount of times we've traveled i know. mean yeah we traveled a lot together yeah. and you know me just coming from france to america i've learned so much and and i could have never learned as much if yeah. i stayed just in france also we wanted to answer some of your questions guys because we did a poll on um youtube community all of you guys have been so awesome and so supportive and you brought us so many super cool questions to ask us so we wanted to start answering them and so sorry if we could not respond to all of your guys uh, questions uh, we'll try little by little yeah. to answer all of them totally um, shout out to sylvia goodwin yes hi sylvia hi sylvia we love you so sylvia you asked what you hope to accomplish and are looking forward to in 2022 you go first okay mm. we are excited about what are that. you oh. excited for? okay what i i am yeah. okay i am excited excited for our podcast yeah i am excited for our studio to build yes i am excited to make so much more tiktoks for you guys as we took a break um and more creation I am also excited to know for each other how to breathe, how to yeah. relax into all of this and how to take time for each other without feeling like we're missing out yeah. on making content and things like that. Yeah. Um, because I believe it will make us very much rich inside of uh, inspiration and love and, and this will help us a lot going through the career and reach our career goals. Um, so that I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about 
uh, get the house uh, bigger, Renovate. better, mm, renovated. renovated. Yeah. Um, oh my god, I'm excited about so many things. I'm excited about being with you this whole year non-stop and also you know taking times for ourselves <laughs> you're not being sarcastic are you <laughs> no um i'm i'm saying I'm, I'm really excited to be with you i'm really excited about how we learning about each other mm. how we learning everything and just getting closer yeah. every time and i'm excited about that a lot yeah i would say most of all me too I'm excited for the same thing. I'm really excited for us to find. <clears throat> um, I really am excited for. Well, the the I'm really excited for us to evolve together, and I really am excited for us to keep growing together. I'm really excited to keep growing as an individual and having the space to do so with you. I think that's really, really, really uh, valuable yeah, and valuable. important. The fact that we're allowing ourselves to have a, a space together where we can grow as individuals while also growing as a relationship because in reality, they all relate to each other. Um, and, you know, in career and all that kind of stuff, like I just want us to find our voice, our happiness. I want us to find our creativity, our inspiration, what drives us, what motivates us all in a positive way. And for more tangible things, like I'm really excited to get this house in a place that's more efficient and better mm -hmm. and we can do the things that we want to do mm -hmm. i'm excited to spend more times with our families mm -hmm. to work on those mm -hmm. relationships yes, yes. and i'm also really excited to um to create you know like i think at the end of the day that's what really drives us is to create i feel like we're two individuals that are very sensitive we're very sensitive and we are overthinker yeah and pressure we already put a lot of pressure on ourselves yeah. on our own as virgos and added pressure sometimes for us is very hard to manage very hard and mm -hmm. sometimes when you do see like a break in tiktoks that's because we're probably managing our pressure you know yes and also it... yeah i'm sorry i interrupted you no but like only also the pressure of social media yeah it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of things going on in social media all the time yeah um, and also we you know it's... we're also viewers on social media so yeah. we, we see what's going so on we watch all that yeah we see everything that you guys see the dramas and all this kind of mm -hmm. stuff pop up onto our for you page and as creators and also as people that kind of put their real love on the internet mm -hmm. like that's really kind of um i don't triggering because it's it's, triggering, it's yeah, scary it's... for us because we're like whoa like what are we risking right like now? like we feel it yeah we sense it yeah. we sense what these people are going through yeah we feel it um and it does i want to be honest it does affect us it does it's, it's yeah. just uh, it's not easy to view no and it's not easy to uh to then in a way ignore by just continuing our yes our absolutely. routine you know we, we come from a place where it is hard for us and we understand it's hard for others mm. And we, we have compassion for that a lot. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just, you know, so that pressure also. There's exists. a lot of pressure, yeah. Yes. So I'm really, really work, looking forward for 2022 to manage that. Mm -hmm. I know it's something we're always going to have to live with, mm -hmm. but I think we can find ways. Yes. I'm hopeful. So, okay. So this next question is from Luis. Luis. Louise. Louise, but we call her Lulu. <coughs> That's what we know her as. Lulu. So shout out to Lulu. Shout out to Lulu. We love you. Yeah. We're going to answer your fourth question, which was when are you or when you are bored or having a bad day, what are you doing to kill time? Do you want to go first? You go first. Okay. Because I went first the last time. So when I'm having a bad day, or oh, usually I'm never bored. So what's happening is I'm having a bad day. Mm -hmm. And when I'm having a bad day, <laughs> I usually go into our guest room and cry. <laughs> yes, true. I feel like I am a very sensory oriented person. Like things, everything bothers me. I think you're the same. Yeah. And so our guest room is kind of like underground, but not really. And like the, we have kind of the similar curtains, like blackout curtains. Like, mm -hmm. like there's like a wall behind mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see. Mm -hmm. So it completely blacks out the light and it's like a very smaller Big, a much smaller space than our bedroom so i i usually go there and kind of decompress i was actually talking to pierre the other day when we were filming a tiktok and i was like maybe we should put a room in this house like a, like a meditation room where like we're detached because like still in that guest room there's like a tv and like you still feel connected where we just disconnect i feel like that's like how i deal with like really bad days i 
disconnect you mm-hmm. know yeah i usually allow myself to eat something <clears throat> that i like that i don't necessarily allow myself every day mm-hmm. maybe a walk mm-hmm. a walk yeah maybe too many white claws i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to figure out better ways to deal with my stress and my anxiety so i'm really actively trying to take walks go to the gym yes try uh breathing better doing all these kind of things but definitely like to deal with my sensory i go into the guest room mm-hmm. to like decompress mm-hmm. what it's about good. you on the bad days i i like well i call my mom every day um but on the bad days too i have a conversation with her not about the bad day but just because just to see her and talk to her just makes me yeah feel good and then i like to sort of meditate not meditate but just go on the floor do some stretching some movements just get back in contact with my body and and my breathing um i like to walk yeah i like to do hikes hikes are really good there's something weird about a walk that just clears your head yes and there's something i love in the bad days and that always helps is the beach oh yeah the beach when i'm really having a depressed day or depressed moment sometimes i would just go to the beach every day yeah. if that's a bad period and i would just um, walk and and um, be really in contact with nature with bigger things I like to be in contact with bigger things yeah like earth yes that yeah. makes me think okay mm, i agree i'm all right here i'm all right yeah if she's all right i'm all right and i can keep going so I mean, well there's a piece of advice that you always give me is like it's not gonna kill you which it's not gonna we're not kill gonna you. die yeah, you know like oh, as much as this is all stressing us out we're not gonna die yeah, you know so true. that sometimes is really grounding it is you it know? is just to be is. like okay like problems are not that bad we're not yeah. gonna die you know and just go back to the simple things just the very simple things to me helps me because i'm like all right there's also simple things here that yeah. you can do yeah and that you can manage and that will make um, that makes me feel like everything's gonna be okay yeah you know? totally. yeah so I take a good poop. And <laughs> All right, guys. So the phone just died because we've been talking for too long. So so I guess it's time to wrap it up. Yeah. We had such a great time with you guys. It was so much fun. It was like therapeutic. It is. Oddly, yeah. Somehow. Yes. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to talk to you guys and kind of <clears> give you an update. And we're, we're definitely going to do more of these. We're going to do more because we want to do. Um, we wanted to say we cannot answer all the questions. Yes, yes, yes. And there's so many of you that we love and that we w- really want to answer you guys' questions. Uh, so we're going to do more Q&As. Yeah. We're going to keep your questions. Yeah. And we're going to read much more. We're going to do a video very soon just about Q&A. just q and Yeah, totally. Like rapid questions. So we want to make sure that we um, answer all of your questions and we give it the time that it deserves. Yeah, and, totally. um so yeah 100% we're gonna do that for sure and um again I think I just want to speak for both of us for allowing us the space to kind of talk to you guys like this this is really a um a special uh platform that we can just kind of share with you guys our thoughts and like you guys listen to them and appreciate them and thank you it's very nice and it's very special yeah thank and you it um, really does not it helps us more than you know yeah yeah it doesn't go unnoticed mm. all your comments all yeah. your support um our nip fam is extremely special and we're so happy uh to have you guys yeah and uh we cannot wait to make more content like that yeah uh we missed you we missed talking to you yeah. just like that we missed this oh thank you guys so much for listening to us be yes. wackos <laughs> <laughs> but we love you guys so much and until next time we love you guys so much yes we love you guys Bisous, bisous. Bisous. And you take care until next time. We'll see you soon. Yes. Love you guys. Love you guys.